Hey everybody, how are you doing? Hope everyone is safe and well out there, staying healthy. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. I thought I would go through a few of my guitars out of my guitar collection. Uh, if you're into that kind of thing, make a cup of tea, a cup of coffee, sit down. I'm not sure how long this video is going to be. But um, yes, yeah, so let's, let's get into it. So the first guitar I thought I would start with is this one is my latest purchase. This is a... Fender Telecaster to custom shop. Uh, it's a 52 in metallic purple. And I absolutely love this Telecaster. So this is my 40th year. I turned 40 last year. So I thought I would treat myself to a nice guitar. So I scoured the web uh, looking for all different kinds of Telecasters, narrowing it down. I found a few, got it down to like three nice telecasters custom shop uh, it was this one it was uh, another one from anderton's which was like was a nice green color candy candy apple green but this one was just really nice so i got this from gak in the uk and it's just it came uh, you can see an unboxing video of it uh, on my channel if you want to if you're interested and if you haven't seen it already i did a unboxing video of it and after i finished that film in that video I just sat down with it on the bed, just unplugged, just played it, and just instantly knew, instantly knew it was just going to be a fantastic guitar. So I plugged it in and sure enough it was awesome. And I'm absolutely obsessed with this guitar. It's just a beautiful colour and I think like, I think the colour of guitars is like kind of escalated in recent years. And, and it's just a fact that like you have to really, really fancy and like the look of your guitar to want to pick it up. And um, if you don't like the look of your guitar and you don't, you know, find it attractive, you're just not going to pick it up. It's just as simple as that. So. You know, looks and colour and all that kind of thing to me matters. And I really, really love the look of this uh, metallic purple uh, with the gold. It's got a gold anodized pick guard, which I love. And it's got a Fender No Caster in the bridge and a twisted telly in the neck and just your regular standard Telecaster um, appointments. It's got a really big U Fender. Um, absolutely massive baseball bat neck which I really, I'm really enjoying actually I didn't think I would really enjoy it at first but once I start playing it it was just it's just fantastic it has got the big 6105 frets uh, the brass saddles just all your 52 um, appointments obviously heavy relic it was one of the things I was looking for when I was looking for um, a, a Telecaster I really wanted custom shop I wanted a heavy relic. I know the relic and things, you either love it or you hate it. I love the look of old guitars. And this just looks like an old guitar, it looks all beaten up and the neck's all worn, if you can say that. So it was one of the stipulations I was looking for when I was buying this Telecaster. It looks awesome, obviously I'm getting the Danish Pete comparisons. Although this guitar is the same colour code as Pete's guitar, uh, code 93 in the Fender catalog it is to me this this purple is a lot more purple for lack of a better word than Pete's Pete's to me is more on the blue side um, but yeah I did actually get a message on from Pete uh, on my Instagram page which I am on Instagram go and follow me on there if you want uh, to see pictures of my guitar collections collection uh, yeah he said he loved it <laughs> and uh, he said it was stunning so I got the thumbs up from Pete so I was stoked about that so uh, so yeah that's uh, pretty much it for this guitar absolutely love it it sounds fantastic it plays amazing and it is definitely definitely one of my favourite guitars the best guitars I've ever played ever and I absolutely love it
Hopefully this will be with me a long time. All right, so many of you might know this Les Paul. This Les Paul has now been with me for nearly three years. It is a 2016 R9, standard historic at the time they were called. Then they went to two historic. Um, so it's got your, all your R9 appointments like the, uh, the Aniline uh, die, the hide glue, the long neck tenon, the custom buckers. And it's just an absolutely beautiful uh, Les Paul. It's quite heavy. I think it's just over nine pounds. So it is on the heavy side. You can certainly, when you've had it around your shoulders for a while, you can certainly, you can certainly feel like you've had it on compared to the Telecaster, which is just over seven pounds. <laughs> The thing about this guitar is, every time I pick it up, I take it out, it's a feeling I get from this guitar that, well, maybe I, I kind of get it with the Telecaster as well, um, with them both being custom shops. I don't know, there's just something about these custom shops. They, they just feel really special uh, when you're playing them, and when you hold them. And this Les Paul just gives me, for every time I open the case, I just get a little bit excited. It's really, really strange. This is a beautiful, beautiful Les Paul. It plays absolutely fantastic. It sounds amazing. And yeah, it's just a straight up Les Paul rock machine. The custom book sound fantastic. And um, it's got a beautiful top. Again, check out my Instagram. There's plenty of um, pictures on there of this guitar. Um, and the, the next, can't really see it in this light probably, but the neck's bleeding in now, lovely with the air, uh, the the, uh, the dye, the uh, the bindings really getting uh, soaked with the um, the red, the red dye. Yeah, it's just an awesome, awesome guitar. And again, I hope this is going to be with me for a lot, a lot of uh, a lot of years to come. So yeah, I'd I'd always wanted an R9. I remember going into a guitar shop quite a few years ago and one of these things was up on the wall you know when like you've got your guitars on the wall but there's one guitar separate just like that on the wall and it was it wasn't this one but it was it was an R9 and the price was you know at the time that was just astronomical and I was just like I will never be able to um you know get a be able to get a guitar like that at that at that price as luck would have it and hard work would have it I've been lucky enough to get this and I didn't actually pay pay as much for this as many people would think and um, what happened well I got this from Peach Guitars I followed them on Facebook and one day I might still have the uh, the picture one day they posted a picture of this guitar and it came in from Gibson and it had some slight lack of checking to the finish and for some reason they offered a, a really big discount and I actually said um, on the Facebook page when they posted it, you know, I, I wrote the comment, um, if I had the money, uh, I, would, I would buy this straight away or something, something like that. And um, somehow I managed to uh, get, the, get the funds together, uh, save up a little bit. And I was lucky enough that nobody had bought it. And yeah, I managed to buy it and it came and I've just been obsessed with it ever since for three years. <laughs> I've been totally obsessed with this thing. Um, it's just so nice. So I don't I don't really actually um, take it out with me uh, for gigs as much as I should. I think I've taken out for like one gig. Um, I'm just so frightened of it getting, you know, smashed or dinged. Uh, we play a lot of weddings and stuff and all it takes is that one little kid running about uh, to come up and knock it and I just don't know if I'm wanting to take that uh, take that risk so for now it's it's safely in the house I just keep it in the house I know some people will be shouting at the screen right now you know saying I'm stupid but that's just the way I feel maybe in the future it might change but um, for now I just keep it in the house as kind of like a more of like a collector's um, collector's piece kind of thing rather than like a, 
taken out gigging tool you know it's, i play plenty in the house so it does get played obviously um i just don't take it out that much just to keep it nice and safe in the house although saying that i am clumsy and i could still get knocked in the house but i take it out i play it and it goes straight back in the case just to keep it as safe as as safe as possible so yeah that is my 2016 r9 gibson les paul all right so the last guitar in this video, I may be doing more if you want to see more guitars uh, in my collection. But this one is the last one for today. This is a Fernandez Revolver Elite. I picked this guitar up in about 2010. So I've had this guitar about 10 years now. And I have done tons and tons of gigs with this thing. I don't think you can buy them anymore unless the, you find one used. And maybe be a few kicking about that's um, new. But I don't think they make them anymore. Uh, and this is just an absolutely fantastic guitar. I don't think I really paid that much money for it. I think it was somewhere in the region of seven, eight hundred pounds. If I remember correctly, it might have been a little bit more than that. I can't really remember. But what an absolutely fantastic instrument. Uh, this is really, really well made. It stays in tune perfectly, no matter how much abuse you give the, uh, the Floyd Rose here. So it's tall mahogany. Um, mahogany back, mahogany set neck. Um, we have an ebony fingerboard, an AMG 81 in the, in the bridge, and a Fernandez sustainer um, in the neck so you can get all your sustaining uh, going on. <laughs> Kind of like a Jackson PC one, which I, I used to have. Oh, and I sold that guitar. Uh, so it does the whole harmonic thing and the non-harmonic thing. So playing this thing live, I have had so much fun. Like I say, I've done countless, countless gigs on it. When I first got it, I think I used it uh, religiously uh, for about four, five years. Something like that. Out every week. And it never once let me down. It's just like, it, it's just an absolutely fantastic, fantastic guitar. Um, maple top. It's just a great guitar, lovely abalone inlays there. Um, across the neck as well. Round the fingerboard uh, and round the actual, the body. Just really, really nice guitar. And I, I absolutely love AMGs. I think, they, I think they're great. I know obviously, again, you either kind of love them or you hate them it seems. Yeah, so if you like this, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, I don't normally ask for that kind of thing, but I'm kind of getting closer to a thousand subs now, so it'd be great if I can just go over that threshold. Um, just a little milestone. And yeah, so again, hope you all staying safe. Thank you for watching. Appreciate it very much if you're still here at the end. <laughs> and uh, if you like them, I'll do more. I've got more guitars in the old collection. So we can do we can do this again if you want, and uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. See you later.